Action for Housing has taken GBC to the properties of two tenants on the decanting waiting list who had approached them for assistance. The first property is a converted washroom in Glasses Estate with acute damp. Well, first of all, the, the house is not fit for human habitation and uh, living here would be a health hazard. I've been living here for six years. The situation is really, really bad. Um, it's not livable. He's on the decanting list. Um, he's 11th on the list. And if that list, as we've been told, uh, moves chronologically, then it'll be years before he's given an allocation. And in the meantime, he um, has to live in these appalling conditions, which I think are absolutely unbearable. Dump everywhere, um, from the, the ceiling and from um, the floor, it comes out. Um, the, to the toilet um, overflows every time uh, the people throw wipes and nappies down the, the drain. Um, the plugs are all um, full of dump, they don't work. Mm -hmm. I have one extension from the kitchen straight to the bedroom to use the telly and other things. Mm -hmm. So we would ask government to say how they intend to uh, resolve the decanting list and uh, see to it that people like Mr. Uh, Atad and uh, his wife and baby are given a decent uh, allocation. It's not livable in the house. The second tenant on the decanting list lives in the old town just off Castle Ramp. Charmaine is a divorced mother with four children, her son's partner and their two grandchildren living with her. Their property was officially deemed unsafe 18 months ago. The tenant tells me that there are rats, um, cockroaches, termites, and that the, uh, she has to live with that. She's been on the waiting list uh, for the past uh, over 20 years, on and off. The government uh, criticizes private landlords for having tenants living in terrible conditions. And yet we have these tenants who are government tenants living in similar appalling house conditions. So they should set the example and uh, vacate this building, which has been condemned now, I'm told, for the past 18 months. And this particular tenant is second on the decanting list. But it appears that the decanting list again moves very, very slowly. These decanting cases remind us that the housing challenges we face as a society are complex and sometimes urgent.